Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with these three blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to give them all a coat of white acrylic paint. I did just one coat to cover up the unfinished wood so that if I happen to put my napkin on that I'm going to use, you won't see the unfinished wood. You'll just see the painted part and it will kind of all blend in with each other. So I did that to all three of them. I did all sides of the blocks. Once I had them all painted and they were fully dry, I'm going to take this napkin that came from my napkin bundle. I'm going to start off with the star part of the napkin. So I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and put it on one side of this block. And then I'm just going to set that piece down, lay it on there, and then smooth it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of cut as close as I can get. And then I'm going to set that one aside for a minute. And then I'm going to work on these other ones using the stripes. And on the bottom of this napkin, on the stripes, is the name of all of the states. So I'm just going to lay that one on, smooth it out with my fingers as well. Once I have it on and all smoothed out, again, I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to work on the next block, and I'm going to put that same striped pattern on this one just again adding the mod podge laying the piece on and smoothing it out with my fingers once i have those three all done i'm going to flip these all over and i'm going to repeat the process again on the other side and i'm just going to flip this right over add more of that striped napkin on there and again just laying it down smoothing it out with my fingers and then cutting off the excess and i'm going to do this to the other two also and i'm going to do this on four different sides so i'm just going to continue on with this one adding more of the mod podge laying it down and smoothing it out until i get each one of the blocks on four sides done i'm going to leave the top and the bottom without a napkin on it And after each time I get the napkin on both sides, I'm going to sand off the excess. So on this one, I've got two sides done. So I'm going to sand off the excess napkin and then I will apply the napkin to the other two sides and then sand it off then. And once I have those done, here they are when they're all finished and these are all four sides done. I'm going to take these letters, wooden letters that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm going to put them on a piece of tape on my paint mat and then I'm going to paint them all blue. I did end up changing my mind and I ended up painting them all different colors. So I did a red one, a white one, and a blue one. And I did this because when I went to go put them up against the blue on the blue at the top, you couldn't really see it that well. So I changed that one to red. So I did a red, a white, and a blue one. And you'll be able to see that later in the video. Once I had those all painted, I decided to paint the tops of each one of the blocks. So I did one of the blocks with the blue, and this is just a deep midnight blue. And I ended up doing a couple of coats. And then on the red and white blocks, I painted each one with the deep burgundy. And I did a couple of coats of that also. And I just kind of tried really hard not to get it on the napkin. Sometimes when you do a project, some things are an afterthought. I would have done this first had I thought about it. I was going to stack them all on top of each other and have them all be even, but I kind of wanted to tilt them, so I ended up having to change the color of the top so that they weren't all white. So there you can see the USA in different colors. So now I am going to start gluing them together, and I'm just going to tilt them ever so slightly away from each other. And this is why I changed the top colors. And then I'm going to add that blue one. So I did the two red and white ones and then the blue one on top. And then as you can see, I've got the USA different colors now. So I'm going to add those on. So I'm going to put the U on the top block, the S in the middle, and the A on the bottom. And now you can see them all so much better. Next, I'm going to take this wooden drawer pole that I had, 
and I just stuck it on a piece of tape on my paint mat and I'm going to paint that white and I ended up doing two coats on this making sure that I get the underneath and the top really well once that was all painted and dry I'm going to glue that to the very top so just put a little bit of glue there and pop it right in the center and then I am going to take some raffia and I just took a few strands of it and I'm just going to make a little bow at the top and I'm just kind of wrapping that around the handle. And get that positioned into place. Raffia is always a little wiry so I had to mess with it a little bit to get it to look the way that I wanted it to. Once I had it all tight and the way I wanted to, I'm going to trim off those edges and that is it. This project is done. I think it turned out so super cute. I love it and I absolutely love this napkin. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.